What's up? We're back. I just wanted to do a walk around of the Forerunner. It's been so long since I updated anything, so I figured uh, it was time. I just been really. I did film stuff, but I didn't throw it up. Anyways, we'll get right into it. Um, yeah, this is how she sits right now. We've got the Bilstein 5100s up front for the Tundra matched with FJ Cruiser coils. Gives me, uh, I honestly didn't take the measurements, but it, it did lift it up a bit. I think those coils are kind of tired now and I need to replace them with something legit, which I will do. And then I put in all new ball joints um, and a new CV on both sides. So they're Toyota OEM upper and lower, uh, as well as t new tie rod ends that was needed up front. Uh, the tires are Firestone Destination 265, 75, 16s with these MB wheels. I'm not sure the specs on these wheels, but they do give me a little bit of, of poke, but I think I'm gonna add like two inch spacers because why not? Um, we have the trail gear tube bumper for the Tacoma that I put on. I have a video, it's really easy. All that you really need to do is cut off these end caps and then it slides on. I had to, on the bracket itself, I had to cut out a little bit for this AC line. And then everything lines up besides this last bolt here. So I'm missing two bolts and this Maybe it could work somehow, but it's been totally fine without it. No inch as of now. Um, same setup on this side, of course. Need to replace some of these clips because everything's falling apart underneath here. But yeah, new ball joints, new CV. Well, it's just a AutoZone one, but they've been working. These angles don't seem too bad at all, actually. So that's why I think I can lift it more because we want those angles a bit more extreme. Um, for some reason, this side, I picked up this corner lens in Arkansas or something. Saw a junkyard on the side road. It's in one of my videos as well. Picked this up. Should have got the matching one for this side, but I don't really mind it. Um, we've got the custom hood paint. Yeah, that's spray spray can because it was so faded that I was like, who cares? It was first plasti dipped white, which was awful. And then I just took it all the way down and it used to match the paint a little bit better, but it is faded, it's pink, it's got stripes. It doesn't really bother me, I should redo it. This fender right here, if you remember, I have another video on this. This whole wheel was ripped off. Literally nothing was hanging on or nothing was attached. It was hanging on from the brake line which I need to replace this part and I have steel braided brake lines that I need to put on um, they're they're red they're kind of cool I need to put those on anyways this whole wheel was off replace everything right this fender was completely smashed in so I literally just took a hammer to it and flattened everything out I'm surprised with this looks really bad right but you should have seen it before. It was awful, so I managed to save this fender. I do have a white one to replace it, I think, but yeah, I just would rather keep this. My antenna fell out, have the part inside. Um, as for the rear suspension, I do like the height that it sits at right now, but I think I'm gonna get Land Cruiser coils, especially if I lift the front a little bit more. The Land Cruiser coils look really well, but for now, I have these uh, Toy Tech coils, the three inch lift ones, which are, are nice. I've loaded them up a decent amount and they don't sag a ton. And then I have the Bilstein uh, 5100s running in the back, which, yeah, the ride is fine. Nothing special. And as you can see, these tires are worn really, really bad. I'm gonna get new tires soon. It's because I lifted it in the front and then I couldn't get it properly aligned 
because my, something with my steering rack, which I replaced. Um, I had replaced it once before, but I think it blew out in the in the wreck again. So luckily, it was warrantied through AutoZone. So I just went back, grabbed another one, threw it in there. Um, yeah, the bumper was painted, bed lined black. As you can see, every time I go through the car wash, it chips off a bit. Does not really bother me. I don't know why it doesn't bother me, but yeah, this side is basically all came off and it's all kind of scotch brighted sandpaper down. So it's not super shiny anyways, I like it. Uh, we do have the, the uh, mud flaps in the back on both of them. I do have the ones for the front, but I just only keep the rear ones on. <laughs> I just took off my Yakima rocket box, which is ginormous. I can't go through the car wash with it though, so it's really annoying. But now that ski season is over here in Utah, there's really no need for it. Um, right here, I need to come back and touch up some of this stuff because it is starting to rust again. I need to do a better job like I did here. Again, I think I have another video explaining this, but basically I was in the right turn lane. I was turning right and there's a big old semi right next to me and he was not blocking off the right turn lane or anything. So when I turned right, I kind of rolled through cause it turned green. I turned right, he was going and then he just cranked it and his trailer <laughs> with a huge tractor on the back and the bucket just <laughs> really wrecked up my car. But it's straight. I mean, the bumper even almost lines up. I literally took off the side panel on the inside and just beat it out as best as I could. The cosmetic stuff does not really bother me because, I mean, it's still running fine. Uh, the wheels are really messed up from my various accidents. Uh, this one looks decent. We're missing a few of those nipples right there, but that's it. I'll show you the really bad one. Um, that one's probably the best condition, but this one right here, I don't know what impact this was, but this dent right here is uh, decently significant, so I need to go get my tires balanced too and see see if that's good, but like I said, they're really worn bad and we need to fix those anyways. Um, uh, nothing really going on in the back right now do have these pieces, I just have yet to replace them since that accident when I beat everything up. Got some washer fluid. In here I like to just keep some antifreeze, oil. Got a voltmeter back here. Got 36 millimeter in case I need to take off a, one of those uh, up front for, that's for like the CV. And then some tools, jumper cables. The skateboard right i do have a very simple wooden platform that maybe i'll put in a video soon and it just kind of sets here and it's doubled up and then you can slide one forward and rest it on the uh the seats when they're all the way laid down but i did just get the car detailed inside through my work so it was kind of it was free but they did not do the best job i'm not blaming them though. this thing was filthy but inside i just have some WeatherTech floor mats, which are honestly way better than, they're just awesome. They look clean and with all the snow that I track in and mud, like they rarely ever look like this, this clean, but um, those are really my favorite. Um, the battery was just disconnected, so I have to redo everything on here, but yeah, I got the Kenwood in here. This guy is out because for some reason I'll pop the, off the hood but yeah that's the inside nothing I mean seats starting to tear I'm thinking about getting seat covers because these are kind of gross at this point I'll take recommendations but I've seen those uh, wetsuit seat covers like wet something is the brand name but yeah check out under here only because it just got it just got detailed so let me throw this guy up and they even did a bad job in here, but I mean, it is fairly clean. It was really dirty, so. Um, yeah, this guy is out. 
because these damn connections keep getting so so corroded and then my car is acting up probably should not I don't know. anyways mostly under here I wanted to show you that it's detailed yeah everybody's seen this but I just got the timing belt replaced yesterday which is awesome um, my mechanic I'm not sure what kind of marker he used on here because it already looks terrible but yeah it was just replaced and new radiator hoses all new belts um, if you can see that new alternator because my dumbass when the car wasn't starting and I have had this problem before especially with this wire with the ground being bad I need to just redo all this but my dumbass literally put in a new alternator before I cleaned up all the terminals and it was the terminals so yeah um, I did replace the brake booster a really long time ago just from a parts car and that's been fine ever since it is wired very sketchily for a amp or for a sub yeah that's bad don't do this your car is gonna catch on fire I'm gonna take it in get a new sound system soon and now I'm starting to think that maybe it wasn't working because because I took the amp the sub out you didn't see in the back because uh, the connections were so corroded but I'm pretty sure I've cleaned it since anyways 227,000 and it's running strong I'm imagining it's gonna go past 300,000 so yeah um it's basically it uh my car was wobbling it was shaking at like 65 through 75 ish miles per hour and my mechanic buddy literally just greased the drive line which i have never done i need to i, I need to pay more attention to this stuff but greased the drive line and now it's driving a thousand times better so yeah there it is that's my forerunner if you have any questions, you can ask me, but it's really basic setup and it's been going strong. I do like this lift, but I think I'm gonna get the front up a little bit more, everything up a bit more and eh, mostly go, most likely go 285s. And also let me know if I should uh, cut off this horn and just have, a, have it flat. And one last thing I'll show you I've done because I am missing my turn signal. I rerouted my turn signal wire, my turn signal is to be right there. There's another video on that, but yeah, so now my turn signals are in the marker light. I think they're supposed to be yellow or something, but I mean, as you can see, they work and have never been hassled, so that was a simple one. As well as I put my, I cut out my, this is my coolant reservoir came out of like a Tacoma it has a small leak somewhere so I'm gonna have to redo it but it cleared up all the space that the old one used um, just gives it a lot cleaner look with this tube bumper as well as I I just trim this part of the body um, on both sides so just shows more tire and I think looks a lot better anyways there it is that is my forerunner walk around check out the rest of my uh, videos if you made it this far and leave a comment. Love to hear what you have to say.